More than three years have passed since the signing of the final peace agreement. Now Colombia begins a new phase of implementation, territorial transformation. The Croc Institute's fourth report analyzes data collected between December 2018 and November 2019 and confirms this transition to new phase of implementation. The report's quantitative and qualitative analysis of all 578 commitments in the 2016 Accord indicates that most short-term goals have been achieved and institutions created to support implementation of the agreement are in operation. For example, the territorial development plans were included in the National Development Plan. The creation of a multi-purpose cadastre is progressing, 528 territorial peace councils have emerged and the process for reincorporation of ex-combatants was approved and is also moving forward. The data shows that implementation continued during the report time period, but at a slower rate than in previous years. This is due, in part, to the fact that medium-term goals require more time to achieve, and also because of delays in necessary regulatory reforms. These factors could affect the fulfilment of long-term goals and the sustainability of peace in the country. Colombia's peace agreement is comprehensive. The commitments within it go beyond the laying down of arms and the reincorporation of ex-combatants and seek to solve the underlying causes of the armed conflict. 88% of the commitments in the agreement focus on reforms and social programmes. In order to achieve these commitments, more time and resources need to be invested and other commitments within the agreement also need to be fulfilled in advance. Therefore, any delays or partial advances related to specific issues such as comprehensive rural reform, political reform, the approval of ex-combatants' productive projects impacts the overall implementation of the agreement. Immediate challenges include finalising short-term commitments, like completing 11 of the 16 national plans for comprehensive rural reform and prioritising mainstreaming the agreement's gender and ethnic approaches so that it progress at the same rate as other provisions within the agreement. All of these efforts will make it possible to build firm foundations for territorial transformation and sustainable peace in the future. Immediate challenges include finalising short-term commitments, like completing 11 of the 16 national plans for comprehensive rural reform and prioritising and mainstreaming the agreement's gender and ethnic approaches that they progress at the same rate as other provisions within the agreement. In accordance with the central purpose of the agreement, protecting the leadership and participation of women and members of ethnic communities will contribute to the state regaining legitimacy and complying with required reparations for victims of the armed conflict. The success of the territorial approach and implementation will depend largely on citizen participation through efforts such as the Territorial Development Plans and the Territorial Councils for Peace and Reconciliation. The Croc Institute's fourth report also emphasises the need to strengthen the articulation agreements between implementation agencies and prioritise commitments that promote democracy, including the special transitory voting districts for peace and other political reforms. Through a comparative study of other comprehensive peace agreements around the world, the report emphasises that robust implementation reduces the risk of the emergence of dissident armed groups and that public support for the peace agreement tends to increase when implementation is perceived to be progressing. Implementation of the final agreement is progressing, but the road ahead is long. This road leads to true territorial transformation and a process that all Colombians must take part in. <laughs>